One of the things that you commonly need to do when developing instruments is establish construct, content, and predictive validity. And the Lashi content validity ratio is a widely accepted measure of content validity. Now the theory behind Lashi is beyond the scope of this video and I do have some references here at the bottom of the introductory screen that you can refer to for more information about Lashi. But what I wanted to show you in this video is a simple spreadsheet that I've put together that we use internally to do our content validity ratio calculations for us. The assumption we're making here is that you've assembled a panel of experts and that you have had that panel of experts rate each item that's on your instrument using a form something like this where you've got your items listed in rows and then you're asking each expert to rate that item as essential, useful but not essential, or non-essential. So we're assuming you've already got that, that you've already done that part of it. And now what you're really trying to do is take all these different rating forms and put them together into a spreadsheet and do the Lashi CVR calculation on them. So if I go over to the CVR tab and you'll see that I have put X's in the cells where an expert rated an item as essential. If they rated it as non-essential, or useful but not essential, then they don't get an X. So they only get an X in the cells where they rated something as essential. The spreadsheet automatically computes the Lashi CVR value based on the number of people that rated the item as essential. I've used conditional formatting in the spreadsheet to highlight the values that are below the critical score in red and at or above the critical score in green. I've also used hash marks in the background so that if you print this out on a black and white laser printer you'll still be able to tell which color is highlighted. And it does the same thing. It averages together all the CVRs to come up with a content validity index for the instrument as a whole. The other thing that this does is this comes up with the CVR critical value using a formula which you'll be able to see fairly small here at the top but this is the actual part of the formula that's computing the CVR and when you download the spreadsheet you can take a closer look at it. The reason I did this is as more of our experts would send in their forms we would have to go back and enter their data and then go to a table of Lashi CVR values and look up the critical value for a particular number of panelists. And that became rather time consuming when we had several different uh, instruments that we were working on. What I wanted was something that if we had a spreadsheet that had five experts and suddenly two more came in, we could insert two more experts here and we could put in the items that they considered essential and it would recalculate our CVR values without us having to go and look up in a table the new critical value for seven panelists instead of five panelists. Now you can also do this if you suddenly decide you want to put in an extra item you insert them. By the way make sure you always are inserting in the middle so if you add people insert them somewhere in the middle. Don't insert something before expert one or at the end out here at expert five. That might mess up some of the ranges that are used in the formulas. Same thing with items. Don't put something before item one or after item six. Insert them here. You will have to go in and copy the formula into these new cells or it will not show up correctly. Okay, I hope that you find this spreadsheet useful. As always, before you actually use the CVR values that come out of the spreadsheet, I would encourage you to cross-verify them with a Lashi CVR table just to make sure that there are no unexpected errors.